Hello there everyone and thank you for rejoining me here in Old World Blues A to Z series in which we're playing as Nuevo Atlan. I'm your host, Mr. Uh, Jaguar Lover, but our leader is ineffective still. Pretty sad. But I guess we're doing a border raid against... Uh... Oh, we're still fighting the Chichen Itza. We're fighting them and whatnot, so it is what it is. Um, but we're doing a couple other focuses. I forget which one I already completed off screen. Um, but the Jaguar hunts. Also, a lot of prepares to overthrow the speaking usher in a glorious age based on a slightly different domestic policy preferences. We're gonna wait, because that puts us in a civil war. I hate wasting days, but it's best to wait. Um, let's do Alcapulco Coastal Development. There's no reason we cannot make Alcapulco Bay the beacon of wealth before it was, or before it, the Great War, other than to change socioeconomic conditions, I guess. So, we're struggling here. It looks like we're probably also gonna lose here. Um, but good guy, we're struggling a lot. That's fine. Um, organization relations, what do we need? Anti-tank and some motorized. Well, with our current relations, it might be a little hard. Well, I can get I guess a bicycle if you really want it. Can't buy anything there, can't buy anything there, so goodbye. Can't do anything here either yet. I could exploit them, but probably not. Close out of the science stuff. Uh, I could build some labs eventually. Uh, I would like to increase our political power, that would be quite ideal. And uh, reforma la fuerza especial. Drastic measures, probably not. And it looks like, yeah, we're, we're doing. Um, followed up with what? Lesser de Southern Development. The South isn't without its charms, and maybe we could give it a few more. That'd be great. That would be fantastic. Um, let's go with. Uh, it's a little ahead of time. I guess maybe, perhaps, maybe better recon. And now we're back down to 60. I mean, this is great for army XP, don't get me wrong. Uh, but, still. And unfortunately, we're using infantry for this, so that doesn't even benefit us right now either. So, Alka uh, Lesser Southern Development. There you go. What's next? Uh, Tribus de la Costa. The tribes of the coast are no longer primitive savages. They have advanced enough to recognize property rights, socioeconomic stratification, and the need for lawyers. Finally, lands of use to us. Ah, good. Uh, I guess you can go there for now. Yeah, this is taking forever. We might hear, be here all, all day just doing a little border war. Spin officer training. Training? Training? Probably not. They keep recycling soldiers in and out. I mean, we're kind of doing the same thing. But still, not ideal. New researches. Um, well, we'll come back, so you might as well do that. Oh, victory in the border. With merry moods and heart and hearts, a brave Aztlan warriors returned from the conquest of La Tumba Compadreta. Though this conquest was now without loss, it brought great gain in the everlasting struggle for eternal rivals, bringing back the spoils of Zachicolco. Zachicolco. Yay, this we won, and now in Yucatan. Yungo moved quietly through the town streets. He had his conduct and given him his orders. All that was left was, was to leave town, and the sooner the better. Lost in thought. He walked confidently down a smaller street. The trick was, of course, to, to act confident. A, a guard might harass a suspicious-looking man slinking through the town in the dead of night. A proud, marching man, however, would attract only respect in the tip of a hat. The side alley he had cho chosen not brought him close to the slave pens. A mistake. Senor, senor, a slave shouted from one of the cages. He was gesturing wildly, looking for any spare crumbs. Yungo sped up, turning his walk into a brisk pace. He just barely managed to turn the corner when he overheard a guard exit the nearby barracks and made his way over to the slave. Quietly releasing his breath, he slowed down his walk again. The less attention, the better. A close call, for sure. Nothing bad would happen to us, right? Especially when we do this, the Jaguar hunts. The Jaguar who hunts the world. Poison in her wine cup, daggers at her back. The stories of the speaker's assassination shouldn't vary with the telling, but it's clear that she is dead. She should have seen this one coming. But now, we got a bit of Coto de Aguila, led by Rafael Quahitili. So. They have risen up against us, and we must now react to them. <clears throat> so, you know what? Actually, where are you guys at? You guys are okay. You guys are going to come over here and do this. Uh, yeah, good enough. I'm going to send you guys to do that there, actually. You're going to have to help us up there. And we got most of the special forces, even though they are the Eagle Cult, and we're not. Even though you're Eagle Cult divisions. Whatever. It is what it is. How about y'all don't do that? Oh, I, we got one ship. Look at that. Just get to where you need to be. Oh, and they immediately take all the territory back. Okay, great. Uh huh. Well, you 
You're a commando, huh? There you go. Uh, melee hacker, please. That'd be nice. I guess we need another general now, too. Uh, you. Fast metabolism? I'm okay with that. Oopsie. Hmm. Just learn a lot. There you go. You guys can go in. End of the Flower Wars. Following the outbreak of the Civil War for control of the Atsalan Empire, the importance of the minor skirmishes commonly dubbed the Flower Wars faded in the eyes of the people on both sides of the border. Instead, the two powerful factions of the Atsalan Empire are at each other's throats. And rumor has it that the Itzan War Council are begging to own Cloud Guzman for intervention. It seems, unless the Itzan are placated, the Flower Wars might turn into a very real war. Tales of Oldest Time with Last of the Land Emperor. Oh, actually, it's a political power. Look at that. Have all the settlements. Get us more stability. Um, retrofit the agency. Our agency contains serious problems. Workers are undergo security checks. And protocol for handlers is nearly non-existent. Greater standardization should lead to better results. Study foreign wars. The world exists outside the flower wars. By sending agents abroad to study the intelligence operations and capacity to form powers, we can strengthen our own capabilities and use our naval power. Our new ships we built could help us prepare for the ex and execute our operations. Using rivers as a means of transportation might be an ingenious way to lower our costs. Very true. We'll see what we can do. So we're going to get enough organization first. And then we'll push in. Because we would have made it across the river, which is awesome. There you go, very nice. And go ahead. Anti-armor tactics. There you go. Of course, we are now led by the Jaguar cult by Armando Ocelotto. Which is great. Remember that one, the Chipancingo Heartlands. Chipancingo is Mexico's orchard. Orchids. A land of sugar cane, bananas, and maize. We can encourage that. Absolutely. Nice. There you go. Get up that way. And start taking in the victory points. Three count snipers, nice. Uh, let's get more industry stuff going, too. Might as well help out here. You keep going. I got to work again. Heartlands. Can you guys, like, keep going and stuff? There you go. You don't want to lose that division up there. They're very quite important. There you go. As they're literally just walking into their territory. Okay. Well, I guess at this point, we should just have a generic front line. Not sure how, long, how much longer the war is really going to last, but that's alright. Uh, reinforce as fast as you possibly can. I do that. You're all invited to go in. Just have fun with it. Oh, okay. We won. Well, too bad we lost all this other stuff now. That kind of sucks. You can be the main front line. You guys can be the infantry holding out here in a single town because I don't want to call them in. And then you guys are going to be here struggling a whole bunch. Anything else we got here? Also, I apologize for the earlier for the fade and fade out. I didn't mean to do that, but the game crashed on us, so it is what it is. Um, I wouldn't mind lowering this. Help us out maybe a little bit more. Yeah. And then what? Uh, we'll probably go with Flower Child, maybe. Arturo Gayoso. Uh, it's an intelligence game from operatives and infiltrated assets. Operational risk. Uh, Coelho Speyer wouldn't be bad. But we don't need to own Mexico City. The Jaguar leaps. With the old speaker gun and the eagle and chains, it's time for a new age. The age of the Jaguar. That's right. Um... Jaguars. That's right. See if we can get advanced at all or not. We'll see. Uh, so we're working on that stuff there. That's a little ahead of time. Let me grab that too. Nice. 
No money, pretty normal. Spend army training. Um, I wouldn't mind doing this, but he's not the current leader, so retrofit the agency to win a war. There you go. Have fun with it again. So now we get 1.39 a day, which is not bad. Operation risk is up, but we have less costs, and we're looking pretty okay. Looking all right so far. The final hunt. So that's what it is. A warm brew. Some circuitry. Kincaid returns. Ooh, the sun rises. Get from above. Declaration of unity. The final war. Fate of the eagle. Unlock the vaults. The rise of the sea serpents. Construct the sepakli. Oh, Makazuma fractures. And his demise. His death is near. When will he strike? Fate of the Mayans. Uh, we could. The fate of the eagle cult. If the eagle's been killed, the cult will be broken up with the cost of military experience. If you do not kill the eagle, his followers will serve you unwillingly. I don't know. Power armor sounds like fun, and I love power armor so much. Oh, the final hold. The Atlan, the best of the old Mexico. Forged with the atomic fires, became the master of the wasteland. We combine the learning of the old with the wisdom of the new, and we'll avenge ourselves upon for daring uh, to send her away. On to blank. Can kid return? Sun rises. Oh. Now it's time to decide what to do with the Baron. A new day for the Atslani. Just because the sun sets in the west doesn't mean it won't rise here as well. The Rio Pact's new business partners. The Rio Pact is the United Nation. And merchants of Mexico. Uh, Mexico's great cities are now reaching out to one another. All the cities of Mexico bustle with fresh scents as the first wave of distant visitors bring the spicy, savory, and smoky flavors of home on their backs and Brahmin. Our people dance in packed streets, bright skirts flowing through the shadows, cast by a papa picado cut just for this occasion. Tomorrow there will be talk of caps and companies, but tonight's a declaration. Mexico may be shattered, but it isn't broken. Viva de Mexico. Don't bother me with these. Any benefits will still apply. I want to see what happens with that. Oh, flower child. Uh, well, this is unique to us. But I want more war support first. But, do we have anything here? Veterans of the Flower Wars, Brown Water Terror, Scarred Soldier, and Strong as Lorma. Ghost that dismisses our veterans. Um, this would be good too. XP game. In a display of arrogance, Costa Cafanada has dismissed her military high command under their control. For now, complete control over the military forces, our bodies have been given unceremonious boot. Their loss. That's not cool. Guys, Declaration of Unity. Jaguars will affirm Athlon's fundamental right to rule southern Mexico for bear his nation for war. It doesn't really affect us. Search for more. Zochitalco. From what they know, we need more money. To an award. General Gabriel Fraga. Uh, I often wonder why he never accepted such a title. Have you been told 20 years ago that it was a war for soul advancing through the military ranks of the Atsalan was a spending long nights staring at the maps and reports? Well, the prospect of becoming a career officer would have been far less convincing. The only thing salvaging, his mood was the contents of the various reports scattered across the desk. It seemed that if only for the time being, Itza was on the back foot. La Fuerza had their own against the ICDEB, and even scored some operational victories. The consistent intelligence failures of the Atsalan have pained Fraga for years. He never felt like he could lead his troops with confidence, always afraid of outside ambushes, surprise offenses until now though. He'd been fumbling in the dark against an enemy he seemed to know nothing about. If just maybe that could change, well this would be a whole different war. Atslan turns up a new leaf. And children of the sun. The rights of the Atslan are not written upon an, its own parchment. We are the children of the sun, we can no long more be contained within a rays. Our splendor will illuminate all of Mexico whether the Itzen wants it or not. Those guys really shouldn't have seized the territories during the Civil War. Declaration of Unity. That's right. The final war. Let's end the struggle once and for all. Kincaid returns. Kincaid was somewhat bitter about the Civil War, but he recognizes that only under the Jaguar will the Atslan reward virtue and talent like his own. I don't mind using power armor, but they gotta be 20 combat, and they have to be very good. I'm glad we have five research slots finally, though. 
Uh, build us up here. Mm, I want to build up special forces first. Bye bye planes. Very nice. Yeah, we need a lot of this, aren't we? Refine tools. Um, get more manpower, I guess, for now. There you go. Should be okay doing this. I think it's infantry armor is not bad either. Get that one done first. Uh, we could do this one. We could use the money. The money one. So we'll need to go a lot of Mexico. So how strong are these guys? They don't mind fighting. We're pretty we're pretty strong ourselves. 9,000 manpower. Out of 86 divisions, of course. The question is, would we be able to hold out against them? Yeah, that's a real question. Do we have any planes? Do we have any air bases? Well, we're definitely trying here. Flower Child, Great Resistance, a Grand Reformer, that's pretty good, Forge Lord, it's okay, Caravan Traders, not bad, it's pretty generic, Captain of Industry, um, I like this one, Agricultural Research Speed, Better Consumer Goods, Output and Civilian Factory Construction Speed, that's a little bit of everything that we could use, Concade Returns, so my question is, if we go to war, could we start winning against them? Now, this could be a bad idea. This could be very, 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 very uh, dumb. But I do want to test it out and see what how what progress we could do or, or have or make. So if we go to war, and we're doing the flower wars, will they attack us? I would assume that they would. I don't want to call in our allies, it's just us and them. Now oh, we have no money, I guess. Okay, whatever. Crop rotation, that's fine. Frequency analysis is good. Ah, good. We can use another division up right now. Very nice. Um, obviously, we want to make it in some sort of encirclement or something here. Ours is theirs. Ours is better, which is good to see. Oh, hello. Well, that's not a deal. Hello. Defeated an enemy division. Nice job, guys. Sort of a pat on the back for that one there. So now they're attacking our special forces a little bit more, which I'm okay with. Real, they're using their special forces and against ours. It's not bad. It's okay. Get more recovery raid. Um, military command. Uh, all that's nice and all, but organization Francisco Navar. Navar. That's where it's at. All right. Well, you attack us here. We're gonna attack you here then. Okay, returns. Servants nest. Airports need someone to take off. Let's clear a few peasant hobbles to make room. Yeah, pretty much. You're gonna force the defense. Hmm. Gonna be risky. Radar's nice. More coordination's also very nice. Leafy-footed spatula-tongued Brahmin mantis. 
Recently, a new pest has been mutated from the beautiful ghost mantis. The leafy foot spatula tongue Brahma mantis is decimated or care of the nearest Brahma throughout our lands. It doesn't seem like there's any easy method to stop this plague, but we should not lose hope. We'll manage the best we can. Uh, the leafy footed spatula tongue Brahma mantis is a new species recently brought about by the radiation. It seemed to prey on a Brahma specifically, suckling out all their juice, green, juicy green blood. Brahma to the backbone of the west and caravan ears. The mantis effects drastically slow down Brahma and by extension these caravans for quite a few days. Okay. Out of the masses. There you go, nice. Hurt them. Oh crap. Yep, before I forget this. Yay. Well, I guess we're going this way now. Hello, what happened here? Oh! They too have gone to war with us. Well, what the heck? Well, I wouldn't be not gone to war if this would be the case. What the barnacles, guys? Uh. Well, it looks like I've got to go back to the drawing board then because this isn't cool. Um, this arise the sea serpents. Kincaid is finally expected, accepted that we know what's best for Mexico. Duh. Unlock the vaults. Although vaults get relatively few facilities in pre-war Mexico, there are still some unopened. Uh, construct a new flagship, yay. In Aztec mythology, Zipotli was a sea monster, part fish, part toad, and part crocodile. Who better to lead a new fleet? That's cool. Conscript uh, uh, Las Tribus Madre del Sur. With some proper cajoling, we can persuade the southern tribes in the highlands to devote to send work pit gangs and build dams for the empire. Does not happiness unfold like a blossom? A hundred flowers bloom. The empire's reforms have helped village, entire nations prosper. From the great cities to the smallest villages, each orchard in the Gampiro Garden reaches to the sun. The Tepic Development Commission. Encouraged by imperial reforms, the people of Tepic take it upon themselves to protect the empire and the University of Oropan. The guilds of the Oropan are quite capable of running their city with only some encouragement. We can find Imperial University to promote the higher learning from before the war. And this is where we're at, everyone. Um, we're fighting Moctezuma. We're fighting Costa Cafenada, Honduras, and the Chichen Itza. And we've been doing okay. We've held out. We've actually pushed in a little bit, but we're suffering quite a bit. Uh, we defeated the Eagle, too. Ocelotl will learn why the jungle falls out when a jaguar walks by. Caged eagle. Eagle may stand before the new speaker unbowed, unbent, unbroken, but he still stands. The jaguar already said Raphael's fate before he walked in the room and was to be find a cliff and see if he can fly. Out of mercy, only blind him. Um, if he's been killed, the cult will be broken up for the cost of misery experience. If you do not kill him, the followers will serve you unwillingly. They will serve you unwillingly. Oh. Fate of the eagle cult. The time has come to decide eagle is Fate once and for all. There you go. Oh, and see they're attacking us again. Um, we're pretty good defending overall, but we did push pretty hard. So, oh, and that's not good on the side either. Um, probably going to watch out for this. CQC training's okay. We got actually a lot of research done, which is great. I need you to get a hold there. Um, honestly, we could use a few more divisions. Nice. Yeah. Can you hurry up? Because we're holding the line there, which is fine. Spills and pills are okay. We're going to have a lot of divisions against us, but we literally are not able to hold out against these guys, are we? That's not ideal either. That's going to be a big old concern. But we do have our special forces over here. And I want to concentrate them and cut things off and get up to this area as fast as possible. Special forces will be fine. I'm not worried about them too much. However, we will be switching over to power armor eventually just because we can. And I think it would be a lot of fun to try so. Nice. Good. A lot of... Uh, Air XP right here, which is nice. Good. So we can start cutting them off. Ooh, not ideal. Ah, good. 
I know this is over this limit, but I don't really care. Because it's not. There you go. So with that done, you can finish these guys off here, and you guys can finish them off here too. That way we can... My goal is to surround them and destroy them. Uh, more war support. Manpower is okay. Oh, we can use more political power, but I want the war support. And then what? We need to own them. Um, the tribes modernize. We successfully pulled the tribes into the modern era. Now they can abandon their primitive notions of communal property and local customs. That'd be great. Get in here first. It's fine. Don't worry about it. As long as we're holding here, we're holding pretty much everywhere else. For the most part. That's my point. Let's get right there. Come in. Energy weaponry. Uh, it's a little ahead of time. Scavenge power armor. Yes, please. Very good. Okay. So now we can come back here and help out the hold the line. They're doing okay. We're doing okay. Um, I think I want to attack here. The more encirclements, the better. What are we making? Military factories? Uh, that'd be quite ideal, actually. We need way more guns. We're at about 3,400. Not ideal. Hello? You are attacking? Ah, you're getting attacked on here too. Ballistic fibers are nice. We're holding there. Guys, why are you attacking? You do not need to attack. So I just do it anyways. Ah. You know what? That's the case. We'll come right here. Do that. Fish. Yeah, this will be good, low encirclement. If we can pull it off, which I think we will. How so much vampire do they have left? Oh, about 2,000 is not bad. Zihuatanyo, charity shipments. A show of Armando's Ocelado's kindness, we can send charity to aid the huddled masses. There you go. And we're going to keep going through Mexico. Probably once we're done with this episode, we'll probably go take out all of southern Mexico and then go to northern Mexico. That is the plan. Keep the Navy Ferry Captain? Eh, whatever. That's fine. There you go. Nice job, guys. Now we're going to see if we take an even bigger chunk out of them. And they're still attacking us down here, which is fine. They're not attacking us over here, which is good. It's our flagship. Broken masks. That's okay. Oh. Hello. Got ten in total. Let me move first. There you go. That reduces how many guns we need, but we actually need more than what I thought. And then what? 
Chil Pansingo Trade Expedition. The merchants of Chil Sampingo are eager for new markets. Let's help them find some. This goes in place. Because that is a, a ton of divisions attacking. Should we give your superiority? Should we get her shore? Readjust it because they're going to redeploy. Then redeploy. Then we'll readjust it ourselves in here too. Good. And we did go refine warfare for this, so. More war support. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess we could have done that one, whatever. around them. Good. Whoa, 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 we got encircled here, bro? Come on. Does look at 2000, huh? Yeah, that's not good. I'm glad we looked over here. Why do you not share the wealth of soldiers? Like, I don't understand this. You literally are not allowed to die. There's any more on that side, too. Hello. Alright, I'm done with this. Force it. That'll be good, that'll be good. Hermitry's kind of stupid. Not gonna lie, it really is kind of stupid. And you're there, good. Another giant swath of their army will be encircled. Give them a little bit of time, they'll give, give them a move. Don't attack that direction, you idiot. Go this direction. My goodness. You're taking too long. Seriously. Man, Mexico's got a lot of bodies. That's rider gear. Very nice, very nice. Drills. Uh huh. Um. I guess it is a sniper dupe. Pain train, because we'll need that eventually too. There you go. Nice. All right, so this is looking way better now. Look at all those divisions trapped. 
Ah, oh, how lovely. Power, industry, final reforms, yeah. Nice job. And they're continuing to attack us too. Well, that's nice. Where would be the best place to attack? Maybe in the south. Start working on these guys, maybe. I'm not fine with them attacking us, so they really want to. I don't really care. Hit him a little harder. Ultra in reserves, that's not bad. Gift of field commanders. Coordination, I like that too. Max planning initiative. Scout recon. Intelligence. Breakthrough is nice to have. What matters in war is having the upper hand. A backup plan for backup plan. If there's a first plan, if it ever fails. Old school tactics, flesh before steel. I do want to use power armor eventually. RD teams. We're over here. Strategy Noel book. Bold attack. And I'll go this way. Nice. Oh, hello. They actually wanted to come out. Okay, so they naval invaded us. Good to know that they actually will naval invade you. Should have brought up a navy, but whatever. Well, if that's the case, I have a feeling you guys could, could do very well. But let's let Special Forces finish these guys off first. Hurry up, my god. Superior armor plating is nice. Uh, anything else here? I'll get these mods polished up. Time. Well, we're going in. We're trying. We're fighting over waterways. Sucks, but still. Why don't you stop them? Thank God. You guys are actually pushing in, which is nice. Know thine enemy. Those present will remember the meeting for the rest of their lives. Seated around a stone table, an old ghoul wearing a dapper suit inside gave them the news. Full fun has been authorized for La Fuerza Especiales, stated bluntly. Speaking quietly and slowly, from now on, the resources you request will be the resources that's given to you. They glanced at each other quickly, unsure of what they were hearing. Surely there was a catch. You will understand them. The best of results are expected from you, given your performance. We aren't worried, the ghoul said, slowly rising from his seat at the table. My name is Langley, and you'll be hearing from me quite a bit. Our work bear fruit. Bear fruit. It's great. Hey, we got another treatment, thank God. So three, not great, but whatever. It is what it is. There you go, they destroyed, good. Yeah, smoke trees are fine, whatever. I have a deployment, um, fighting support units. I'm probably gonna go with... Any good support because you do have a lot of infantry that has a lot of support units on them, anyway. So, they're back to the 3,000. Back.
I think we were here before. That's good to know we're out of money. And a six research slot. Yay. I do like the medical chems, just because they also help like help you recover faster too. So, so this is fine. This is gonna be an issue here. I think it's already start cracking down this direction. I want to convert them over to motorized enforcers. Whatever. Be fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Now you guys are going to go in. Cracking down on their defenses and such, and attacking us here, which is good. Um, let's cross this gun, that would be very good. We're getting there. And we're using more energy. Hello? Ah, oh, great. And of course you find him. Come on, special forces. So how much, I mean, this is ridiculous, 2,000, so, got another trade node, which is good, so, we're gonna keep working on this until they're pro pretty much fully all dead, alright everyone, so, this is where the cow, she's, this is where we're at right now, taking 12,000 while delivering over 86,000, um, Moctezuma is now, well, he was fighting someone else up here, um, so we decided to try to go in here, See if this was a good idea or not. Maybe not. But we'll see. Um, and we also have seven more divisions on this side as well. We're slowly trying to improve everything we can possibly can. Um, yeah. Overall, it's going. It looks like the Chichen Itza are going to probably capitulate here soonish. But we want that faster than not. It's been taking forever to take out the Costa Caffeinata, though. Unfortunately. It's been taking so long. But you should be pretty good. Gabriel Fraga is looking pretty darn good. Still again through there, still again through here. Now this is turning into a problem for us. You're gonna hold. Hold as best you possibly freaking can. You don't need to attack. You don't need to attack either. You stop attacking. Oh my god. Stop attacking. Holy shit. And just stop attacking. You don't need to attack all the time. Um I'll grab this one too. Yeah, maybe attacking them was a bad idea. This is bad. Very bad. Just go and retreat, it's fine. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Well, we tried. I'll give the old Rambler a try. Didn't work out for us in the end, but that's alright. You can get out. Remove yourselves. Stop it. Get out. Bunch of Neanderthals, get out. There you go. Well, we try definitely. Okay, there we go. Um, here, we're still trying, as you can see. My god, is it a mess. Mexico just has so much population. It's not funny. It's faster to kill off their entire industry. Oh, there they go. Well, that's way faster than I thought it would be. Um, than to do anything else. It's kind of like, uh, China. Fighting China in normal way for. 
It's easier to just destroy the equipment than call off the manpower. Uh, you guys actually move over here, because Andres is going to be a pain in the butt. And then we got to focus on Makazuma. So, go. Hello? Oh, they're navel invading, aren't they? You're not going to let them move and live. Oh, we, did we catch you there? Oh, that was the plan. Good. Ooh, we need to go need way more energy, aren't we? That's not ideal. Hell, oh, frick. Oh, you're going in there. You guys are doing that. You guys are where? Uh huh. They lost the war, but they still want to naval invade. Okay. Understood. That's so stupid. Don't, I know you need to recover. I don't care. Go. Get from above. Hey, let's be down here. Circle of destroy. Supposed to shows are nice. Not sure why you're not doing anything there. Makes no sense to me. Good. Very ideal. How about here? And now, how about here? Nice. For now, what else do we need? A lot of stuff. Good. You guys will be okay. I don't want to throw too many guys in one area. You guys are going to come over here, actually. Are you fighting someone else? Doesn't look like it. Maybe you are. Hmm. We'll see when we get there. You guys help out down here just in case. That'd be nice. Resistant lenses, Gatling lasers. Come on. Nice. There you go. Who's that? And let the special forces do their job. They'll be fine. They were plucking a lot in special forces land right now, but whatever. We're gonna force it. Why don't you guys go here? Happy July, everybody. Good. Nice, there you go. Monster of the East is very nice. And now that we have these guys, you can all do that now. Good. Kill every single last one of them. They're very annoying. I guess we can grab that too. Now, you get back here and you do this. Napoleonic warfare, it's fine. Entrenchment speed's fine. I mean, how many? A hundred thousand we had to kill off. That is ridiculous. I hate Mexico. It's just so much. It's literally just so much. We're here. We're looking pretty good so far. I continue on with focus. Conquest of Paradise. With the fall of the Itzen Empire, the town's going to determine whether we should per give Paradise, pay Paradise, and put up a parking lot. You bunch of squirrely, ratty guys. What happens? Can you promote it again? No. It's a uh, no. San Pedro, no. Little bit of fence. Uh, 
else? Plus tech. Go, let's get her on the on the same page here, and we're gonna go in because I'm sick and tired of doing these guys. Where the hell are you? Come on. All right, so you're over there. Um, let me start stacking you up against her, maybe. And we need some time to work on ourselves since uh, we're looking pretty weak overall. And we're going to end with a lot more Mexico than I initially planned on us getting. You know what? Screw it. That's the case. Just go in. So how many divisions we got? 87. I've lost about 3,000 of them. It's kind of insane. Gunk of Spiritus, Fate of the Mayans. With the fall of the Mayans, at Salani hegemony over the south is secure. Some argue for it of peace, but others say the Mayans are not a conquered people, but rather loyal subjects. Whether we drink from a Sinat or the Lerma, we are one people. They can out with our jaguars when we march north. And the Lord of the Jungle. With the Itzen Heartland secured and our fleet established, the town is time right to unite Mexico. Play the Death Whistle War. Which I want to do in the next episode so we can get everyone down and finished off. The robots are very tough too. This guy's learned a lot though. That's a that's the number they always like in this mod. Mexico. Yeah, I forgot about this. My bad. That's my fault. Sure, I don't think we'll go all the way up there, but we'll see. Cut him off, cut him off, cut him off, cut him off. They have a crap ton of divisions. But these guys are now cut off mostly, not completely. Um, due to them getting supply through here. San Luis Potosi. Logistics are fine. They're fine. Lord of the Jungle. Fantastic. Good. Why did you... Why? Why do you do it like this? Why must you paint us like this? Get in there. We're literally just destroying the entire army here, pretty much. There you go. And there we go. Why make a navy? You just, you know, take some from others. But this is a really weird looking Nueva Atzalan. I didn't think we'd end up all the way in Texas at the end of this episode. So we'll have one more because we've got a few more nations to take out. So if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we'll finish out this campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great Jaguar Rastava. Your day.